right, trainer of champions, Bonnie Canino. We're here in Bonnie Canino's boxing gym in Dania Beach, Florida. In 1979, I graduated from high school and I was playing sports, and there wasn't any sports, and I've always loved boxing, and um, I thought I'd take my first try at the YMCA where they had a boxing program. They didn't really re respect women in the sport or boxing, so I got laughed at. So I joined a karate school in 1979 where I got my first start. Within a week I had a pair of boxing gloves on and I was uh, seeing the fighters achieve their dreams and, and their wins. I live my life within them now since I'm not in the ring and, um, and I'm retired. So when I see them win, it glorifies me and it makes me feel better and, uh, and it feels like I, you know, I'm achieving something. Vanessa Hernandez, um, multiple world champion in different world classes, in different weight classes. I started boxing, kind of you can even say, because of Bonnie. You know, when I first started, I came here and Bonnie kind of took me in. And it was awesome to have somebody with, that's a legend, you know, push you through. So I was like, I already had, I had like one fight and I met her and she was just so embraceful. And I'm very, like, I could kind of say that like, I kind of give my spirit to her and I thank her so much for it. And it's watching another Puerto Rican woman, you know, pave the way was just, it was so different and, and I enjoyed it. I got a reputation for being kind of like a showboat when I was amateur. And Bonnie went on her way to get me a fight in Georgia. And we left from South Florida all the way to Georgia. She put me in a fight. And it was just an honor to have her work in my corner. And that kind of changed my perspective a lot of boxing as well. The fact that somebody took the time out of, and I wasn't young, you know, I was like 23, 24 years old. She took time out of her own life to take me up to Georgia to fight. So that really started changing my outlook on everything. And I've always been coming back. Um, you know, I've been boxing, I guess, eight years now. And I'm still coming back to the gym and helping out whoever she has because I'm giving back to what they gave me. You know, <laughs> her hands are so heavy. So just knowing that I can still sit in there now and rock with Bonnie tells me I've become something. Because when I was an amateur, I couldn't touch her, nothing. And now I can stand in there with her and trade. So yeah, it's what I needed. And having Bonnie's influence kind of like rejuvenated me as a boxer as well. And spiritually. Funny enough, I'm not into spiritual stuff, but you feel something different. Yeah. And it, yeah, it's bringing me there. It's almost like humbling me, which I lost a lot of my humble. Like, I became a douchebag. And now I'm coming back to where I'm like, I'm normal. You know, I'm a human just like everybody else. And it's grounded me. And, you know, I have to thank her really for that, too. Right on. Very nice acknowledgement. <laughs> I mean, you know, she's an awesome person. You know, it's, it's rare that you meet people that have, like, this aura about them. It's almost, like, funny enough to say zenful. Now, when you come in here, it's a different atmosphere. And that's kind of what I needed. Instead of being, like, people used to kiss my ass wherever I went. Here is just like you almost have to bow down the body because it's almost like you know that's a legend. I you know I might be one of the top female fighters in the world, but that's still about her. I wouldn't be where I am. Right. Well, um, Bonnie thinks of it as a chess match, and she's a, she's one of those people that always thinks about always learning. So when she's coaching you, there's always right when you think you get something, she changes the game. There's she adds something else on. But and I'm still working on the stuff that's like the first sentence, and she's already gone to the next the next paragraph. So she looks at things like, like a, boxing, is like a chess match, and you can win the fight at the stare down. You can by by losing if someone doesn't make weight at the fights, they lost already. So then you go you go in there with that attitude. It's outside games. The way she breaks things down, uh, I've learned a lot, and I keep learning, which is so cool. Which is why I don't really want to retire because it's, I just got I just figured out the game. I just figured out it's a game. I have fun. A title fight. Um, in Kenya and we were like, I think it was the eighth round and I guess she felt that she needed a little bit more out of me and we were in the corner and I guess she slapped me but I didn't remember it until after the fight we are at the victory party and we went to a small little friend's place, small friend gathering because I'm not like a big party person especially after a fight and um, I'm eating there and I look up and I'm going, hey, that's why I remember that she slapped me in the middle of the fight, I was really pissed, it must have worked but all her life it's about fighting, everything she's learned all the styles that she's taken, everything she's mastered, she's do it, she's done it so she can get better in the ring. And she applies that knowledge to everybody else under her. And I've learned a lot under her right now. I'm actually, I have seven fights 
Um, and I'm, I'm still learning under her, and everybody here is still learning under her. All the pros that come in here and train under her, all the amateur fighters, everybody. She, she's really great. And she's really loyal to everybody, and she's really great. Bonnie's training is that it's everything. You know, it's footwork, it's balance, it's defense, it's offense. And um, it never, I don't really think I've ever been to a class where it's felt the same. You know, it's everything from sparring to working on different drills, you know, to hitting the bags and then one-on-one -on -one training. You know, anytime you have anything that she notices and she's always watching, um, she kind of steps in and shows you how to do it better. So I don't think, I don't think there's ever been a class where we've done the same thing, to be honest. Bonnie's kind of like Yoda. Yeah. Like Yoda? <laughs> we were talking about that at the last fight. Um, we were all sitting on the sideline watching Bonnie, you know, coach, and, and she was in the ring, you know, in between rounds, and we we're just like, you know, that's Yoda, pretty much. <laughs> she just has a way of calming you. In 1993, I did six world title fights in one year. In 1993, so that was like a, a fight every month or a fight every other month, the world championship fights. And, they were all like on pay-per-view, so it was, it was real good. I have over 20, well over 20 years experience in boxing and kickboxing. Uh, in fact, um, this year is 32 years. Oh, wow. Yes. Awesome. Way over 20 years. years. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not saying my age or anything, you know? You're really coming out of the womb, right? Uh -huh. Boxing it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, you also have, hold... Um, like ranking or belts and other martial arts? Right. Well, it, it came out that I had 51 fights, um, 37 in kickboxing, 18 in boxing. Um, each of them I have four losses. Um, and I won uh, two world titles in kickboxing and two world titles in boxing. It is open. And uh, they just have to, you know, just go through their obstacles or the barriers that come in their way and just hurt over that. Go after your dream. Is that your dream? Become um, a champion in, in mixed martial arts. Then go after it. It's there for you. You know, if you leave other obstacles or other things get in the way, go in there. You, you won't get there. And um, I think that um, that was my goal. I, I I didn't take no for an answer. I just kept going and going. If one door didn't open, I went through another door, and if that door didn't open, I went through another place. So I found a place that accepted woman boxing or woman kickboxing or mixed martial arts. Mm -hmm.